Here to discuss black political power is Black Millennial Convention Steering Committee member Stephen Green. Mm -hmm. Welcome to the Black Report, Mr. Green. How you yes, doing, fam? Yes, welcome. Hey. How are you all doing? Doing we maintain fine, it, man, you. on on this awesome Juneteenth. Yes. Yeah. Happy yes. Juneteenth. Everybody. Same to you, brother. Real quick, before we get started, how are you celebrating your Juneteenth? Well, we're celebrating Juneteenth today with a virtual social justice conference called uh, Justice Con. It's happening uh, right now oh, uh, at nice. applicationorg backslash Justice Con. Uh, and so we really convene uh, faith leaders and activists and politicians and policymakers from mm -hmm. across the country. Uh, to sort of build the strategy and the pathway towards freedom. Uh, we, we all know the state of Black America, but what's in the mm -hmm. future of Black America? Mm, it's yeah. we, we have come together for that and say, this is not a day off, it's a day on to mm. organize. And we're going to get a little bit more in depth with that later, but uh, real quick, do you think it's time for a Black political party? I think it's time for Black political power. Mm. Right. And I think it's time for us to build black political power uh, and whatever mechanism uh, that, that allows us to do so. Uh, you know, we, we got to have, uh, uh, you know, make sure that we have our interests that are the same and not necessarily the parties that have helped make us to to get our interests aligned. Uh, that we want to make sure that we we have uh, an agenda that that in, ensures fairness and equity for all. Mm -hmm. uh, and so as we build political power. Through the Black Millennial Convention, we're training young people to run for office. Mm -hmm. We're training them to be able to uh, work on campaigns and build uh, build apparatuses in communities to organize. Uh, and so we're more concerned about building this political power uh, and, and building it through various ways. OK, mm -hmm. now, Reverend, the Black Millennial Convention was inspired by the National Black Political Convention in 1972 in Gary, Indiana. I got to ask you this, uh, were 10,000 American, uh, African-Americans gathered to discuss and advocate for black communities that undergo significant economic and social crisis? With that being said, well, what is it really about the convention that inspired the BMC? Yeah, I think for us, it was the fact that uh, this convention was was one to gather and to convene black political leaders uh, to begin to push this strategy for this political power, this agenda. Right. And there's something about uh, convening people together for for courageous conversations, for for dialogue and then also to build community. That There's something particular uh, that happens when black people are able to come together. Uh, what a time it is. And so we wanted to create that same level of energy uh, that we would be able to to convene young people from across the nation mm -hmm. uh, to, to fall in line with this tradition of pushing together a black policy agenda, which we call equity for all. Mm -hmm. uh, we believe that there should be equity in housing, equity in education, mm -hmm. equity in health care, right? Like we, we, we need to push towards this vision and then work towards make sure the policies meet the vision instead of the other way around. For too often, we mm -hmm. let politicians tell us what they want to do. Right. And we, we, we do, we, there's a widening gap of the vision of what we shall be able to do and what's possible. Okay. Now, Reverend, you mentioned a little bit earlier, but I also want to just go back into it. You are also celebrating Juneteenth. Uh, very special today with some something um, today with something called Justice Con, like you said earlier. Can you tell us about it? Because the lineup is so powerful. I mean, you have Senator Cory Booker, Reverend Al Sharpton and so many more. Yes, it's, it's really a phenomenal uh, day. We've got Tamika Mallory, Rashad Robinson. Yes. Uh, right now there's a panel on healing is resistance, spirituality and self-care. Oh. I mean, it's literally a cadre of sessions today for, for each person, for everyone who wants to come and learn, mm -hmm. uh, you know, about what's happening with Juneteenth. And then, you know, hear from the voices on the ground who are actually doing the work every day to build power for folks, right? Oh, right. Building okay. spiritual communities, building, building, building on the grounds as activists, organizing uh, with, you know, with there's a, uh, a um, or, or session now just finished about say her name justice for black women and girls yes we lifted up the name of brianna taylor mm -hmm. and then we've had a cadre of politicians who've come through today to just to just offer their solidarity and offer support yes. and then to listen to the issues that our folks are, are raising and so i mean it's really been a phenomenal uh a day we're, we're we're almost to the end of our day but i mean it's it's really something that we we believe is transformative we mm -hmm. hope that People are able to use these sessions and sort of like learn. You're right. Mm -hmm. the, the last thing we want to do is for people to like take these day off and because their corporations have given them the opportunity just to barbecue. Like, no, you got to do more than barbecue. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <That's right. laughs> yeah, like and, and enjoy some of the red soda as we're watching Justice Con. And uh, this will be available online to watch. 
Yes, absolutely. Uh, MSNBC is, is is partnering with us and, and live streaming it. We gotta watch it on our channels. We'll have it packaged out. If folks want to register, you can register at justicecon.co and get right. access to all the back, backstage uh, viewers oh, yeah. and all that kind of stuff. So it's, it's a whole virtual vibe happening right now. Ooh, okay. I love it. I love virtual it. Now, I think vibe. this is very beautiful, Reverend. Why did you decide to start Faith for Black Lives? Can you dig into that for me, please? Yeah, I think that there needs to be a moral angle that we we try to push together a, a, a vision of what's possible. And we can be grounded in, in a sense of morality and truth that transcends religion, transcends race, but it unites us as, as a community of people. And that's what we really need. We're trying to change the culture of America. Right. I mean, you've got to change a culture that has over 55% of its budget into defense and none in offense. You can't, mm. you can't win a game with just defense. you got to no. have some offense. Somebody got what will be yeah. our investments in education? What's our investments in healthcare? What's our investments in, in people's everyday lives? We saw the government literally cut a check for $8 billion to just mm -hmm. pay uh, money for corporations to be bailed out. You know, if you could print money for that, why can't you print money to to make sure every child has access to, to an education from kindergarten? Exactly. To college, right? That is, that is so true. true. Yeah. That's so I mean, true. Now, Reverend, what, is, what does Juneteenth mean to you? Yeah, Juneteenth to me is is a day to to commemorate, but it's also a day to commit. I think we're mm. in sort of this, this path journey towards freedom, and and I know after the, you know twenty five days ago we saw what happened to our dear brother George Floyd, and yeah. now we got to recognize that if we're going to change this nation, yeah. it's going to take us deep diving into it. So I hope that this day is sort of like a, a consciousness awakening for those who've been silent for so long, mm -hmm. for those who are wondering like what can I do, what shall I say, like to take this day to. To sort of embrace this next phase of this movement as we go from protest to the polls and do all we can to really push a new a new system of government a reimagine what's possible and really institutionalize some of these practices that we've been talking about it's time now to really push towards this ultimate freedom yeah. and liberation that we're supposed to celebrate today i love it awesome yeah. awesome now i want to talk about that painting behind yeah. you yeah that That's is an amazing. Better, that man. is Frederick Douglass. Mm -hmm. uh, do you have that because Fre Frederick Douglass like means something special to you? Yeah, man. Frederick Douglass is a, is a is a is a spiritual mentor to me and a guy. He said, mm. "I prayed for twenty years and received no answer until mm. I prayed with my feet." And that's that's sometimes we got to learn. We got to pray with our feet. We got to pray at the poles. Yes. We got to pray. Uh, moving and, and keeping people to like be engaged and yeah. so I, I use him as a guiding light you know he was he was the the first person to speak at, at uh you know in the white house at the white house yep yeah, I mean, like we he has a legacy of connecting uh, what he did as in the streets as an abolitionist. Correct. All the way to the White House. He exactly. is who helped influence yeah. Lincoln uh, to, for, to liberate the slaves. Uh, I'm so happy you said that yes. because I was I was getting to that when I first saw it. I said it's fitting. He has this Frederick Douglass uh, yeah. painting uh, behind him. That that is <laughs> you bout it, boss. I really enjoy that, man. Yeah. When, when I saw that. So uh, once again, the Reverend Stephen Green, thank you so much. Tell us one more time how to check out Justice Con. Yeah, you can check out Justice Con at allencathedral.org backslash Justice Con or follow us on social at Green the Rev. Uh, and so we look forward to connecting with folks and continuing to build this movement. And thank you all for having us on as we continue to celebrate this blackity black, black, black. We black, gotta do it. Yeah. We black, y'all. That's we right. We gotta do Reverend it, Stephen Green, thank you for joining us thank here on The Black Report, man. We look forward to talking to you again, brother. Absolutely.